Thanks. On opening night, Clark, both teams would love to start off, obviously, on a winning note. Without question. I mean, setting that winning tone, gaining that confidence that comes from winning, and they all count. Wins today are just as important as wins that you get in March and April. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. And it's Middleton in at the three spot. And for the Hornets, Washington and Zeller are in the middle. Then it's Bridges. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's Graham in at the two. Tip-off goes to Charlotte. Pass to Washington. Bledsoe against Rozier. Good D by Lopez. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Here's Zeller, six on the shot clock. Shoots from 12. No good, shot missing. Excellent D there from Bledsoe. Lopez outside. Off target from three-point range. For the Hornets, they come into this one following a loss to Orlando. Charlotte moving it around. Graham with the ball. He had 15 points last outing. Down low, here's Washington. Pass to Zeller. Ball's knocked loose. Lopez with the steal. Here's the break. Here's Bledsoe. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And there's the call. Charlotte the foul. You know, it's never easy or simple trying to slow down Bledsoe. I mean, when he's in attack mode, it puts the defense in a real pickle. First one falls for him. And, you know, while Eric Bledsoe isn't a 20-point-per-game scorer like he was in Phoenix, you could argue that he's a more effective player since coming to Milwaukee. His efficiency is at a career-high level. And so he hits both. And for Bloodsoe and the Bucks, he's been a great fit, Clark, as a third option on the team. Yeah, I agree, guys, because it really comes down to recognizing the right spot and right role for you with your team. And Bledsoe himself recognizes that. He says he's the happiest he's ever been since coming to Milwaukee. Charlotte shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And when you look at their numbers from a season ago, 80% as a unit, that's something you'll be happy with. Shooting two. And that one misses. When you watch the Hornets play, you can expect a very controlled game. Yeah, you know, they don't push too much and make silly mistakes. Fantastic when it comes to minimizing turnovers, controlling the pace. They've been one of the best teams at keeping turnovers down since 2014. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Cody Zeller, his level of activity is really contagious. I mean, that's what I love about his game. Excellent hustler on both ends of the floor. And he does a lot of good work just by staying active. No matter what the circumstance, he seems very comfortable letting it fly. Rozier looking around, and the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That is his first foul of the game. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. And with Zeller and his activity, you see it on the glass as well. 
Yeah, you look at Zeller, and he's a guy who really doesn't do anything great, guys, but he does everything really well. And to have a big guy like that is really valuable. And here's the 2K leaderboard with the list of the league's top shot blockers from last season. Fourth, Brooke Lopez. And shot blocking is the element of the game that I think he cares about the most. That's where he puts in that effort and energy. Washington passes to Zeller. Shot clock at five. Rozier against Bloodsoe. Charlotte no good that time either. Boy, they are frigid right now. I mean, failing to connect on their first four attempts. Cloak loose. Oh, and here comes Rozier all alone. Feeds to Graham. Trying to get something going, and the layup is good. Boy, the fifth time's the charm. That's a big basket there. Bucks leading by five. Giannis inside. Pass to Matthews. Middleton looking it over. Five to shoot. A second chance effort. They get the rebound. Giannis passes to Lopez. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Nice awareness from the young forward. Giannis Antetokounmpo showing he wants to work it to his guys. It's Matthews on the wing. Here's Giannis. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Really, you know what? Trying to keep Antetokounmpo off the glass, that's a tough assignment because he's long and he can leap. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. That's his first foul. Here's Washington. He's coming off a 19-point game against Orlando. And his scoring is going to get most of the attention, but his rebounding also stood out. He did a lot of glass cleaning in that game. And they're losing their concentration here, guys. Just sloppy with the ball. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle steps for Milwaukee? They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnover. And the next one puts them in the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Hill, he's checked in for the Bucks, And so here's Charlotte. They trail by 11. The pass to Bridges. Knocks it loose. And Charlotte turns it over again. And let's see the stat sheet here on Cody Zeller. A very nice season for him last year. Last season put up about 10 points a game. Six rebounds and two assists. The contributions he's been making on the floor have been a boon for this team. Great stretch of games for him. Yeah, you know, they've given him more responsibility, and he's responded. And the way he's going, I think his role is only going to increase. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. How about the springs of this guy, Antetokounmpo, also known as the Greek Freak? I mean, he just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley-oop chances. Bridges passes to Washington. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. And the three ball is good. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Outside Hill. Passes it to Middleton. Lopez outside. Giannis high post. He had 28 points in the win against Chicago. And how about the job he did rebounding as well, guys? I mean, just a dominant performance on the glass. Ogier the pass to Zeller. Over Hill. And Charlotte again with the bucket. And James Borrego in his second year as head coach. Wants an offense that relies on quick decision making. They are looking to attack defenses early. And you know that kind of offense, Greg, is one that's not easy to put into place. Um, you've got to trust the players and the players have to trust each other and the players have to make good decisions. It's a steep learning curve, but I really think it's the ideal way to play once you get it all ironed out. 
And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. I, I love the fact that Bridges does a little bit of everything, including passing the ball. Now Lopez fires the three, and Rogier pulls it down. He kicks to Bridges, pass to Graham. To the inside, and that one is stuffed right through. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. Back to Giannis. Can they get it? Zeller grabs the board. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Coach is liking what he's seeing from his offense. And guys, they put the defense on the defensive. Pass to Bridges. Back to Rozier. Rocket six. Kicks it to Graham. Off target with his three. Bucks leading by four. And here's Matthews for the three. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Now, here's Rogier. Mark, a lot of coaches like to run their offense through centers. Uh, any names you can think of who you'd be comfortable running your offense through at that position? Well, just because I've watched him and loved his game since locking into oh, him. Take a um, break. Jokic. Take a break. Yeah, man, can he pass Two shots. He can shoot it. He can score it inside. He's got such excellent hands and touch. He's at the top of the list. DeMarcus Cousins, big guy that can shoot it and pass it as well. And uh, Marcus Hall is also in that list. Yeah, you'd feel comfortable with any of those guys holding the ball, distributing the ball, wouldn't you? No doubt. The Bucks making a switch here. Dragon Bender, he's checked in for Lopez. Ilyasova comes in for Antetokounmpo. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Wesley Matthews. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And so he'll bring it up for Milwaukee. It's a three-point game. Korver, good. And Korver has made a living out of hitting that three ball. He has one of the quickest releases in the game. Rozier against Hill. Now, here's Rozier. Not a lot of room. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Rozier. Bucks leading by six. Hill kicks to Ilyasova. The pass to Corfer. And another three for Milwaukee. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. On the wing, Batum. Passes to Bacon. For the three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. Bend to the pass to DiVincenzo. Outside Hill. Here's the three. He can't hit that time. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. To the paint. Here's Williams. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And now it's just a four-point Bucks lead. Boy, the rugged athleticism of Williams. So skilled and calm at converting through contact. Bender with it. Working on Williams. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. The Bucks shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% as a team. Good, Bender. 
And Bender is a big guy just oozing with potential. I mean, a big man who runs the floor well and uses his size effectively close to the rim. Both good from the line that time. Hornets trail by six. And here's Batum. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. To the wing right side. Five on the clock. Again, the Hornets score. And Batum extremely comfortable making things happen with the ball in his hands. Milwaukee leading by four. Pass to Bender. From deep. The Bucks getting another chance here. Here's Ilyasova. And another shot. And Bender with the lay-in. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to... Um, Put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. Hill with it. Williams picks him up. Tipped away. Here's Bacon. Five points in the game. Outside Batum. I pose Hernan Gomez. Shot clock at six. Bender with the rebound. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Takes a three. A three-pointer is right on target. Bender's got seven points in the game. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Yeah, and you know what, Greg? You like their effort level here in the early going. I mean, they're really making things happen for themselves. Milwaukee leading by seven. Here's DiVincenzo. Hill with it. From past the arc. And again, Milwaukee with the triple displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. It's been all about Eric Bledsoe for the Milwaukee Bucks. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Well, there are a lot of letters that go into the spelling of Giannis Antetokounmpo's last name. He helped set the record straight of how you pronounce it. The Nigerian way, you got to say with a D. So it's Antetokounmpo. But in the Greek way, you say with an NT, like Antetokounmpo. Whatever you got, just say, you know, it's Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> Seems easy enough, right? <laughs> I guess so. I think a lot of people are going to stick with Giannis or the Greek freak. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? I mean, offensively, I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball. And defensively, boy, were they disrupted. Yeah, I like the way they forced a ton of turnovers and then took advantage of those turnovers with opportunistic baskets. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got. They've got Kyle Korver. Bender out there with Ilyasova. Then there's Bledsoe. And it's DiVincenzo in at the two spot. Inside. And he overshot that one, missing. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. And since coming to the box, Eric Bledsoe hasn't been asked to do nearly as much as he has in the past. And for Bledsoe, that is a good thing, as he is best as a complimentary player. Not scoring as much, but his decision-making and shot selection have vastly improved. 
Here's DiVincenzo. He's guarded by Williams. Here's Batum. DiVincenzo with the rebound. You know, even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. Stolen by Bledsoe. By himself. And Bledsoe with the stuff. You got to mind your business around Bledsoe. If not, he's going to pick your pocket. Hornets trail by 10. Outside Batum. There's Bacon. And Marvin Williams picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Trains it from beyond the arc. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. And the Hornets making a change here. Graham's checked in. That's tipped. Batum with the steal. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Pass to Graham. Here's Bacon. Parted by Bloodsoe. Outside Batum. Down to five on the shot clock. Top of the key jumper. No good. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game, and that's helped them stake this lead. Got a piece of it, and it's out, out of bounds. bounds. They say last touch by Bledsoe. Washington's checked in for the Hornets. The Bucks also with the sub. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Ilyasova. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. And some changes here for the Bucks. Lopez comes in for Bender. And Middleton subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. Now the pass to Bacon. Now Graham, six to shoot. And the foul called on Antetokounmpo. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. Zeller, he's checked in for the Hornets. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Matthews, he's checked in for Kyle Corp. Puts up a three. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down to six in the bucket from Graham. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Lonzo finds Lopez. Here's Middleton. Fires for three. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. Platoon passes to Graham. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Outside Batum. They double him with Matthews. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. So it's the Hornets now. Washington passes to Batum. Over Matthews. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Now, just a four-point Bucks lead. Giannis kicks to Lopez. Let's it go. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. Charlotte has gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. High arcing shot. Lopez with the block. Great timing on Lopez's part there to squat down that attempt. And they pick up two. 15 points for Eric Bledsoe. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. From the low block, Zeller trying to free himself up. It will not find the hoop. It's his third miss. He has made two. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Here's Lopez, a tomb with the steal. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to six and the bucket from Bacon. A reliable defender who uses his length well, but Toom is a guy you got to be careful around. you got to be mindful of his presence. 
And, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Greg, those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Rozier, he's checked in for Dwayne Bacon. Giannis inside. Middleton outside. From deep. No good on the shot. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Down low. Here's Zeller. And the dunk by Zeller. Those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Left side out of the Kumbo. Batum with the steal. Turnovers continuing to be a problem here in this quarter. They've been disjointed offensively, guys. I mean, they've given back some of the lead because of it. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And Bledsoe has it in the corner. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Giannis has got his third assist on the night. And, you know, really, Bledsoe has to keep hitting it from deep. When he does, I think that really opens up the floor for him and his team. Charlotte calls timeout. Clark, last couple years, the three-point shot has been absolutely huge, a gigantic weapon for a lot of teams. You live by it, you die by it. Some teams can uh, accept, though, the ramifications of a bad shooting night. Yeah, I think it's um, too big a premium not to really overweight the three-point shot, a 50% premium on that particular field goal when it goes down. But I do like to see balance, attacking the rim, spacing the floor. I love to see guys and teams shoot the mid-range shot as well. But the three-point shot and the way teams use it and shoot it is um, here to stay for sure. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Boy, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That is his first foul of the game. Charlotte making a switch here. Bridges checks in. Rogier for three. Milwaukee with the rebound. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Back to Middleton. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Lopez, no luck. Hornets trail by nine. Now, here's Bridges. No points in the game yet for him. Loose tries to save it, and it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. And here we can check the story out on Terry Rozier. Last season's performance for him put up about nine points per, four rebounds, and three assists. And there isn't much to write home about with his numbers. I think he'd like to up his contribution. Yeah, but you got to earn that chance. I mean, you get what you earn. His numbers are fine, but he's not going to get a lot more floor time unless he turns it up a notch. Passes it to on the Kumbo. And out of bounds as the Hornets gain possession. Yeah, and checking out the numbers for Anita Cooper. Coming off a terrific season. Third in scoring. Sixth in rebounding. And he finished among the top ten in blocks, bringing that intimidation factor to the paint. And you only average top three in points if you have a particular mindset that, that you are the guy. Milwaukee making a switch here. Hills checked in. Rozier against Bledsoe. Now, here's Rozier. He's tightly guarded to the paint. Here's Washington. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They lead by seven. 
And here is Lopez. And the Bucks miss again. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Here's Graham. He's guarded by Hill. Pass to Bridges. And Zeller kicks to Graham. Just five to shoot. From the arc. A rebound by the Bucks. Middleton dishes to Lopez. Bridges with the steal. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Bridges leading the charge. Just a high-energy player. Bridges brings the aggression every possession. That's Giannis. Outside Hill. There's the pass to Middleton. All three off the mark. Hornets trail by five. Bridges shot. Good. Bridges has got four points this quarter. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. You're right on target there, Greg. Of the last 10 points they've allowed, eight have come from in close. The wide open look here for Lopez. No good with the triple. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Ogier the pass to Graham. At the teardrop, Lopez with the block. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scores from a season ago. Third is Giannis Antetokounmpo. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Shooting two. And that one falls for Zeller. And Clark, when you look at how the game has changed, if you were entering the league today, how would you reshape your skill set? Well, the biggest part would be expanding my shooting range. I was a good shooter at the time that I played, but would need to expand it and was just starting to stretch out my shooting to the three-point line. Uh, and then also defensively, be a little more committed to that end of the floor, really working to get better there. But ball handling, passing, scoring, rebounding, those were things that I did pretty well. Bridges with the steal. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Graham with the bucket. And you can see the importance of that steal. Really a four-point swing with the conversion at the other end. Pass to Bender. Here's DiVincenzo. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And here's Hill for three. Bridges with the board. Charlotte's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two of six from long range. The Hornets shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Shooting two. Now the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Turning Gomez is checked in for Charlotte. Good on both. They're having trouble stopping this run. And the more trips they continue to come up empty, the more the pressure builds on them. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. One forty-six left now here in the second. End of the pass to DiVincenzo. The Bucks working the ball around. Hill with it. Williams picks him up. Back to Ilyasova. Five on the clock. Milwaukee. No good that time either. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. That fast break three is one of his favorite shots. He's never afraid to pull it up from deep. 
Hill passes to Bender. The dish to Korver. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Korver's got nine. He's picking up right where he left off in the first quarter. Rozier kicks to Williams. Pass to Graham. There's 47 seconds left in the second quarter. Rozier for three. Kept alive. Another shot. And there's a nice layup inside by Bridges. Six points for him. He just can't teach that size. Bridges has the wingspan, those broad shoulders, just a tremendous rebounder for a wing. Hill looking it over. Ball's not loose. And so the ball is out of bounds. Rozier touched it last. And the Hornets making a change here. Bacon's checked in. There's 21 seconds left to play here in the half. To the middle. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. The Bucs shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. free throw is good you know the former late first round pick Hill has really developed into a reliable shooter and wing defender he's got good speed gets to the rim with ease and passes the ball well too eight seconds left in the first half Rozier with the ball and the last second attempt does not go in for him I think Hill is really an outstanding two-way player. Not only does he hustle at the offensive end, but he also puts forth tremendous effort on defense. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Hornets ahead as they end the second quarter with a huge surge, an 18-5 run. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, probably not the defensive effort you were hoping for thus far. Yeah, no, our defense isn't where it needs to be. I think they're getting open looks. We're over shifting, and then we're not committing to shooters. Um, just not a very good defensive effort so far. Mike, thanks very much for your time. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. For Charlotte, it was a challenging first quarter. It didn't appear that their energy level was anywhere near as high as it needed to be, and the period ended with them in a 10-point hole. Things really took a positive turn for them in the second quarter, though, as they went on a huge run and now find themselves leading by four. Kenny, let's get your take on Charlotte. Well, their ball movement was phenomenal. Now, they're in good position to win this game, large in part because of those assists. And this is the thing, Ernie. When you win as a team, you feel better about everything that happens. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Milwaukee. I like the way they rebounded. They devoted a lot of energy down low, fighting for each other on the boards. And they helped keep this game tight. If they can continue to do that, it could easily be the factor that swings the game in their favor. <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. 
You know, Eric Bledsoe has been exceptional here, guys. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. Washington and Zeller are in the middle. Then there's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bridges. And it's Graham in at the two guard. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. Well, it doesn't matter where you place him in the lineup, Clark. Miles Bridges is going to make some plays. Well, I love his rugged quality he has, guys. I mean, he can guard anybody at the three or four spot. Doesn't mind going up against guys that are bigger. Everybody knows about his athletic ability and dunking it. But um, he's got more in this package than that. Bucks trail by four. Matthews scanning the floor. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. And now let's get a look at the numbers for Wesley Matthews. Some last season stats for him. Last season put up about 12 points per game. Two assists and two rebounds. And every team in the league needs shooting. That's what he brings coming off the pine. Yeah, there's always a demand for shooters, man. Half jumper will travel. I'm telling you. Most championship teams, they have a bunch of those guys who can put it in the basket. And it's Graham missing. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Here's Bledsoe. The teardrop falls in. Bledsoe's got the first bucket of the third here for the Bucks. This guy's a big-time gamer. Eric Bledsoe, unstoppable. Here's Rozier. The rebound by the Bucks. Giannis has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. 0 for their first three attempts. For the tie. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. Giannis has got the game tied up here for the Bucks. And Giannis is a beast. The Greek freak, a dominant player on the offensive end. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That's his third foul of the game. Out to the wing. Bridget for three. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. There it is. The first basket of the half after missing their first three attempts. Here's Middleton. And it's blocked. And the impact Bridges makes on the defensive end, showing he's not to be messed with. Here's onto Takumbo. Eight points for him. And the double up onto Takumbo. Matthews, no one around him. Offensive rebound. They swipe it. Bridges with it. Out guarded by Giannis. I tell you, Bridges, you see the athleticism, the improving skill set, and the instincts are coming along. The Hornets have hit four of eight from the free throw line so far. Folks, that's 50%. Not great work there. And the first one at the line is good. That one misses. And Clark, many fans thought Brooke Lopez might have lost it after his stint with Los Angeles, but, you know, he was reborn after joining the Bucks. Yeah, sometimes a fresh start re-energizes you and helps you change your game. This guy was, though, a 20-point scorer a night in the past, so he can put it in the basket. He didn't get those kind of numbers with the Bucks, but really was exactly what they needed as a big guy who could shoot the three and also be a rim protector inside. You know, it's really surprising that they're up at this point, given that he struggled so mightily. Now Graham, nine points in the game so far. Pass to Zeller. 
and he uses the glass on the layup. Graham's got 11 points. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Outside Matthews. The pass to Middleton. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. The athleticism of Middleton puts defenders in a rough spot. I mean, sometimes you just have to whack him and hope he misses the shot. The Bucks have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. Shooting two. And that one falls for Middleton. Boy, for me, it's really been fun watching the evolution of Chris Middleton. I mean, a rangy two guard who can really stuff the stat sheet. Looking at who's out there now for the Hornets, Batum comes in for Miles Bridges. And it's Malik Monk in for Terry Rozier. Middleton hits them both. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the stripe. He's going to cash in more than not. And here is Graham. 11 points in the game. It's so about it's a Kumbo. And oh, here we go with Bledsoe. Nobody back. And the slam dunk by Hunter Takumbo. And that's a double-double for him now. 10 points and 13 rebounds. Decent at spotting his teammates. You know, Bledsoe is good, I think, at reading the defense and then recognizing when he's got an open teammate. Knocks it loose. And it's middle. Oh, that was worth the price of admission. And the quickness of Middleton on the drive is really remarkable. I mean, he gets to the bucket so fast. Platoon passes to Zeller. Lopez with the block. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. And Greg, it's clearly been their edge. And in a close game like this, time out, time out. you look for every edge you can find. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Bucks. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. Yeah, and also the way they've been able to generate points off of the turnovers that they forced tonight has also helped. Wayne Bacon's checked in for Malik Monk. Here's Graham. He's covered by Matthews. Middleton against Batum. Bacon. Shot to stop the run. Zeller passes to Washington. And he gets the bucket. Washington's got six points. And so it's Milwaukee with it. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Onto Takumbo looking it over. Dishes it to Matthews. Trying to get open is Lopez. And Matthews with the basket on the assist from Ada Takumbo. Giannis has got four assists now tonight. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That'll be his second foul of the game. Hernan Gomez has checked in for Charlotte. Kicks to Graham. High bows, Hernan Gomez. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. And that'll be his third foul so far. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Matthews. Here's Graham. He's got 11. That foul gives him four, so he's got to settle down a bit. This is his first chance at the line tonight. 76% from the line a season ago. And he makes the first. So he makes both from the line. 
Milwaukee leading by three. There's the feed to Bledsoe. And Bledsoe with the stuff. Tell you what, if you're going to hit Bledsoe, you really got to give it to him because when you don't, he just works through that contact. Well, you know, it's hard to overstate the impact that Giannis has on the floor with his play. I mean, he gives you so much at both ends of the floor, offense and defense, and really draws a lot of attention from the opposing team. One shot. Williams, he's checked in for Washington. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Corbers checked in. The efficiency of Giannis Clark, that's just the icing on the cake. Yeah, I agree with you guys. Um, for years, people were asking, how scary is Giannis going to be? Um, well, we got our answer pretty much in the form of he's a nightmare. Back to Williams. Five to shoot. Here's Graham. Offline with his three. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Greg, and that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. Here's onto Takumbo, the turnaround jumper. Count it. Anos has got eight points in the quarter. And so it's Charlotte with it, trailing here by eight. Here's Graham, guarded by Bloodsoe. Out of bounds, Milwaukee takes possession. All right, a chance to check out the stats for Eric Bledsoe. Last year, getting it done. He was around 16 points a game, five assists, and four rebounds. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is, and he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. DiVincenzo passes to Giannis. A three. DiVincenzo can't hit it. Hornets trail by eight. To the inside. The kick out to Williams. Sinks the triple. Williams has got seven points in the game. Pretty decisive that time by Williams. He knows when he should shoot off the pass. Ludzo passes to Lopez. There's the lob at the Kumbo. Trying to go for an alley oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. The three, and it's the Hornets, another three. Boy, from the looks of it, it appears the defense is fine with him taking that shot, but he makes them pay when they do. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, last season, the G League tested out an expansion of the clear path rule. And now that expansion is making its way to the NBA. It should discourage those intentional fouls that slow up teams on the fast break. Fans wanted it, and analysts clamored for it. And that will allow the amazing athletes in this league more opportunities to show what they can do on the fast break. You're right, David. A welcome change. Thank you. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. the first one drops and Clark with Giannis you could see the change in his demeanor last year you know he knew he was unguardable when he was on the floor well guys you know you're special when you can say nobody can stop me and the general consensus is you're right I mean I can't think of any player in the NBA that's really suited to guard Giannis with his blend of speed and strength and ball skills that guy handles the ball exceptionally well for a big man off on that one so he goes one for two at the line you know, since entering the league at age 18, Antetokounmpo has really grown. The Greek freak, now one of the league's premier talents, no doubt. Now here's Ilyasova. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Korver passes to Ilyasova. Lock at six. Here's DiVincenzo. And again, the Bucks miss. Hornets trail by three. Here's Bacon. He's got 13. Outside Batum. Passes it to Bacon. Charlotte gets it back. 
There's the double team with Korver. It's stolen by Korver. And up the court from the Bucks on the break. Hill leading the charge. And when Hill sees an open floor ahead of him, he's off to the races, using that amazing speed and length to get to the basket. Batum scanning the floor. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Down to five on the shot clock. Williams, that's good. And here's Hill, who will bring it up for the Bucks. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Eliasova finds out to Jacumbo. Batum with the steal. Goes up, and Nicholas Batum with the slam. And you know, Batum with that Greyhound build and stride covering ground in a hurry. E. Vincenzo. Good, the assist goes to Hill. Hill's got three assists in the game. Pass to Graham. Plays it up off the glass. Graham's got six here in this quarter. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Hill passes to Ilya Sova. To the middle. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And Giannis Antetokounmpo has some major hops. At almost seven feet tall, he makes it look effortless. Batum with the ball. Now guarded by Antetokounmpo. Here's Bacon. He's got 13. Shot clock at five. Tries it from the top of the key. A shot by Batum. No good. Three on three. Hill against Batum. Poked away. Feeds it to Antetokounmpo. Unable to get that one. Great D that time from Batum. Inside. Here's the break. Here's Yuck. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You, you lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. Shot and game clock separated by five. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. For Charlotte, they have made a little more than half their free throws today. Seven of 12. throw good Hernan Gomez and one of the problems in the first half that shoddy work at the free throw line they needed to fix that and they've been much improved since the break so he gets them both so it's the Bucks now four point game Hill with it. He has seven. And Rogier pulls it down. For three, Bridges. A shot missing. And we've reached the end of the third. The Bucks on top, up by four. We've got more in store for you right after this. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance 
to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Setting the floor for the Bucks, Elias Oba out there with Kyle Korver. Then there's Bender, then there's Hill, and it's DiVincenzo in at the two-guard spot. Six on the shot clock. Batum inside the three-point line. Bullseye! Man, what a pretty stroke from Batum. Nice-looking high release with a textbook follow-through. Eliasova finds Korver. Now here is Hill. Hangs home the trifecta. And the Bucks lead by five. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Pass to Bridges for three. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three. You fire three of your own. Boom. Outside Hill. Trying to answer back. But that three is off the mark. To tie it up. He doesn't hit that one. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game to the paint. Here's DiVincenzo, defended by Batum. From outside the arc, and he's good on the three ball. Ball movement is really crucial to this team, and Hill always keeps his head moving, looking for the open teammate. Cloak loose. Now the pass to Bridges. And here is Rogier. Now Hernan Gomez. Back to Rogier. A three-pointer off the mark. Not a whole lot going down for him at this point. He just can't buy a break. Here's DiVincenzo. Defended by Batum. Hill kicks to Ilias Hope. No good on the triple. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Batum wishes to Bridges. Ron Gomez down low. Rogier for three. It's hauled in by Ilias Over. Ilias Over's got four rebounds in this game. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he's shot so poorly. Yeah, a coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work timeout, harder timeout. on the glass. And the Hornets call time here. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. And the Hornets making a change here. Zeller's checked in. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Ilya Sova. Chris Middleton comes in for Kyle Korver. Wesley Matthews checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Eric Bledsoe in for George Hill. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hi, guys. I was able to catch the message James Borrego gave to his team. He knows they struggled at the free throw line, but he actually looked at the positive. He said, if we continue to get to the foul line, good things are going to happen. But we have to keep getting there. Maybe that'll take the heat off him a little. Ludzo against Rogier. To the left side wing. Zeller inside. Lopez is there. And so the ball is out of bounds. Rogier touched it last. Bucks leading by seven. 
outside Matthews. Passes it to Middleton. Milwaukee getting another chance here. And it's in there. And it's six points for Brooke Lopez. Because of that big body and seven-foot frame, Lopez a handful to keep off the glass. Down low, here's Batum. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Rozier's got his seventh assist here tonight. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. Bledsoe against Rozier. Now the feed to Bender. And he makes that one. And the Bucks lead by nine. There's not a lot you can do, fellas, to combat Bender when he's that close to the rim. I mean, he's just too long and too good in the post. Stolen by Bledsoe. At the elbow, it's Matthews. A shot off that time. Great tee that time from Batum. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. Tipped away. He kicks it to Bridges. Shot clock at six. Zeller passes to Washington. Shoots over Bender, and it's Washington missing. And so it's Matthews with it, bringing it up now for Milwaukee. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Bender. Now here's Middleton. Ludzo for three. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got nine rebounds now tonight. Ludzo against Rogier. Middleton on the wing over Zeller. And the Bucks miss again. Hornets trail by nine. Platoon passes to Zeller. And now Matthews pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Basket good. Well, you've got to recognize how active Middleton is on defense. I mean, this is a guy that you can't afford to be careless around. Rozier against Bloodsoe. Rozier kicks to Bridges. Just five on the clock. To end the drought. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Batum's got six points in the quarter. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget. But in the second half, he's looked a lot better. Shots good by Bloodsoe. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Pass to Bridges. Back to Rozier. Here's Washington. Guarded by Bledsoe. It's a nice pass in here by Charlotte. Washington passes to Bridges. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And the Hornets making a change here. Graham's checked in. Giannis Antetokounmpo's checked in for the Bucks. The pass to Lopez. Get there, get that screen, Tommy. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Washington's got seven rebounds in the game. That's a two from Rozier. A new 14 for Charlotte. Washington, that's good. And they've shown a little extra hustle on the offensive glass here in the second half. Second chance points are starting to add up for them, and they can use every one of them. Here's Lopez. His three-pointers off the mark. Hornets trail by nine. Graham kicks to Rozier. He dishes it to Zeller. Outside for Batum. Six to shoot. The three-pointer no good. Milwaukee leading by nine. Inside. Now here's Adedekumbo. D right on him. Beautiful reverse layup. Giannis has got 15 points in just the second half. 
And it's easy to see by Antetokounmpo's performance tonight. He can flat out dominate games at times. Lopez with the steal. And now in transition is Bunch. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. My goodness. And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdown. And Jen shot. Graham with the bucket. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. The Bucks shooting straight 49% from the field. And there's a whistle. That goes on Terry Rozier. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Miles Bridges, he's checked in for Nicholas Batum. Left side out of the Kumbo. Goes up at the stripe. He feeds it to Middleton. And a great assist by Anna Kumbo as that one goes in. Anna Dekumbo has got six assists in the game. And here is Rogier. Pass to Bridges. But Trey. And Lopez pulls it down. Milwaukee leading by 13. The shot by Middleton wide open. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. Onto Takumbo, passes to Lopez. Outside Matthews. Five to shoot. Hits it from three-point range. Matthews has got five points in the quarter. Wes Matthews is a lethal perimeter scorer and knows how to get himself free, and he's got great range on that shot. Great open look there. 129 left in the fourth quarter. Rozier against Bledsoe. Middleton outside. Here's Lopez, and the layup is good. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Bucks. Their hard work on the glass paid off. I tell you what, they're both excellent rebounding teams, and it was a tough battle underneath all game. And I think ultimately that earned the W. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far. They've won two straight. Yep, but two more to go before the end of the season, and they'll obviously be very confident heading into those two games. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out, and doing it here again in this one. A terrific night for Giannis. Now, he was a problem on the glass today, relentlessly crashing the boards and came away with a bushel basket full of rebounds. Bridges, that's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. An under-control player in close. Uh, even when Bridges is under pressure, he just stays committed to his move. Giannis kicks to Matthews. Pass to Lopez. At the elbow, it's Antetokounmpo. And that one drops. And the Bucks lead by 19. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. See you next time.